supposedly, and I don't know this for certain, but supposedly, it's crunch time. Hi. Good morning, and uh, welcome to breakfast stream. How y'all doing today? I um, I felt like the framing was tighter than it usually is. It seems a little tighter. <laughs> Partially because there's all these Peggy's in here. And I couldn't tell if it was actually tighter. Sagan's watching Peggy. Do you see Sagan? I see him. I couldn't tell if it was actually tighter or if I if I just desperately need a haircut. Maybe or you both. Did a both. Or both. Maybe the camera should be zoomed out just a tad. And yeah. also I desperately need a haircut. Just a tad. Would you like me to do that now before yes, we get please. in? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that actually. Ooh, that was staticky. Welcome to Everywhere in the House. That's okay. better. Is that better? Yeah. Just kind of. Just kind of. Uh huh. Okay, I'm gonna just go check. Hi, baby. This. No. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> you can talk. Oh. Sorry, I don't know. When silent? you focus, I think silence. I'm just petting Sagan's belly. No, it just says nothing. Like, nothing. What? That's better. I feel like what? I can breathe a oh, little bit better. Okay. I still need a haircut, but I can breathe a little bit better. There you go. Hi, folks. Um, I was waiting for Sagan to talk, really. I see that. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I'm, I'm focusing. Oh. And I was like, I was like, she just stopped talking. <laughs> like, why? What? It's, it's nothing to do with it. Uh, so a few things. The shirts that I ordered came in, as you can see. Check out this shirt. I got the 1960s Who shirt. It was a long time ago. It was a long time ago. And also, as part of that order, I also got the version 2.0 mug. Now, with the ability to have a graphic on both sides, in the future, we don't choose a side, it's just both sides. It's great. <laughs> Thank you, Brandon. And I have something else very exciting. I'm trying a brand new jam today. Me too. Am I trying the new jam? You go first. You know what I should do? I shouldn't tell you what it is. Let's see if you can guess. Okay. That so sounds like a fun Do you want game. me to try it first? It doesn't matter who tries it okay. first. I'm just going to try it. So. You don't put enough jam on. Hard to disagree. Just so everyone can see this. I was right. You were right? Mm hmm What do you think of this? Sweet tea jam. There's like six jams down there right now, and I figured that was the one you took. It's also the one that matches in color. So, yes, indeed, it is It is Sweet Tea Jam. This is Sweet Tea Jam, which was sent to us recently in mail. And it's interesting. It I, that That's not obviously like a, a flavor that you would normally, you know, associate. Yeah. With jams and jellies, well, but it's it's pretty good. I mean, my guess is they had, you know, there's so much sugar, and you use the sugar with the gelatin, and the only other flavor you need then is tea. Yeah, and obviously because of what it is, it's pretty subtle. Chess says tea jam is dangerously close to toe jam. <laughs> Chess, no. Yeah, it's uh, you know. 
it's good, it's just, you know, mild tea flavor. And Tatsy had asked what, what flavor tea, it's, it's gonna be black tea. Um, as a general rule, all, all sweet tea, just sweet tea, it's, it's made with black tea. Sometimes it has a little bit of lemon. Yeah, sometimes. Um, but not that I can detect in there. So it's, it's basically black, sweet black tea jam. Overly sweet. Yeah, it's like, like McDonald's. Like if you got a sweet tea from McDonald's. Fosfix says, idea, sweet tea, but matcha. I've had that. Like when I make a matcha, la matcha latte? I mean that, but then I feel like I've also had, well, I haven't had much, I guess. I've had I've had sweet green tea, which is not like I in guess... the bottles they sell. No. Okay. Like I've made sweet tea with green tea bags. But matcha has a different flavor. I know, so it's not quite the same. Yeah. It's green tea, but it's not the same. Ooh, that's anyway, so hot. Anyway, anyway, whatever. It's <laughs> as with most <laughs> quarrels on. On breakfast stream, I'm like, wait, this doesn't matter. Um, hopefully, everyone's had a pretty good weekend. Uh, I feel like my weekend's been all right. Sorry, Spiffle says, as a Canadian, the concept of sweet tea makes me laugh. The vast majority of iced tea here is very sweet, including iced tea. You mean including green tea? Did it say green tea? I thought it said iced. I think it said green tea. Do you want me to scroll up? Just a little bit. Oh, including green tea. Okay. Yeah. See, I didn't know their tea was sweet, because, like, Wisconsin doesn't have sweet. I mean, until I met you, I didn't even know sweet tea was a thing. We only ever had plain iced tea. Which, down here, they just call unsweet. So when you go to the restaurant and you want unsweet tea, you say unsweet. <laughs> yeah. Iced tea will get you sweet tea here. Yeah. Because it's presumed that... It's presumed that you want to drink sweetened tea. Mm-hmm. Um, and for some people, if you if you ask for unsweet tea, the response is, is closer to, but why? So. Cassie says, what is wrong with Wisconsin? <laughs> Did you see my culture lesson on Discord at four in the morning? So I hope that everyone's had a, a, a good weekend. Um, ours, ours has been pretty good. Uh, I'm happy to report that uh, all of the pain that I was experiencing from the ear infection is over. Still have the ear infection? I have to do drops and take my pill so, sometime. It's a morning thing, so I just, after I guess, I guess after the breakfast, uh -huh. just don't let me forget. It's my last I, pill. I'll try. It's my very last pill, and then I've, I did I mean, the whole set. They're not my pills, but I'll try to help. Please help me. I'm an idiot. I need all the help I can get. Um, so, that's good. Um, and then otherwise, it's just been, it's been pretty good. And then also, let me, before we get too far into the breakfast stream this morning, let me formally announce that we will be doing a First 20 stream uh, later today. At time unknown, I'm not exactly sure when. I'm hoping to to get a sweet spot of somewhere after breakfast stream, but not quite dinner. Because lately, every time we do, you know, the first twenty streams, they start at like eight, mm -hmm. and I'm like, well, I really don't want to do it at like eight. Just a just a little bit sooner would be better. So late afternoon is what I'm, I'm hoping for, depending on, obviously, the availability of, uh, of mods. So, we'll see what happens. I've all, I'll always announce that on, on Twitter, and I'll try and get things set up sooner rather than, than later, so. It should be, it should be good. 7.56, got it. Gosh darn it, Chaz. <sighs> and you might not even be wrong. Um, and also, saw that fly by and I wanted to say something about it. Uh, Colin asked, did you see the wonderful 101 Kickstarter yesterday? It hit the $50,000 goal in like a few minutes. It's now past a million dollars, which is nuts. Uh, 
I did back it at the physical level, um, just in the event. It ends up being the only way to ever get a uh, physical copy of the game in case they don't go retail with that. Obviously, the digital version will be in the store. Yeah. So that's not a concern. Like, if you just want to play the game, um, there's not that sense of urgency to, to support the Kickstarter, unless you're just very passionate about it. Um, but, uh, you know, in the event it doesn't get a retail release, I got a, uh, a physical Switch copy, because I thought that'd be interesting. Anyway. There's still 30 days in that, so, like, you can... You can back it if you want to get a, a physical copy. I'm going to start reading some of these alerts. There's already, um, there's already, like, several. So let me do that. We got 17 months from, uh, Troop Captain 97. Yeah. Four months from, uh, Uchi Plays. Here's to many more months, grandparents. Thank you, Uchi. 12 months from my doodle. Yoshi's Island in the morning? Oh, boy. Oh, I didn't change the alert. <laughs> I mean, like, I never do. <laughs> so... <laughs> but I didn't know I didn't until right now. I like how Chaz's snark is rubbing off on our mods. <laughs> I think it's hilarious. <laughs> both, both a good and bad thing. Um, huh. Well... I'll probably remember to play it, uh, to, ch to change it for first 20 stream. <laughs> Alternatively, later, catch me uh, alone for more Yoshi's Island. I uh, hope you two are having a great day and the first 20 stream doesn't break. First 20 stream will probably be fine, fortunately. Because um, I won't be there. <laughs> yes. I have a video to edit. Good. I'm happy about that. Uh, some of the game audio issues that we had during the last first 20 stream, we know how to fix and all of the other weird oddities that we've had with our audio related to when we do like Yoshi's Island is solely because we have two mics. So mm -hmm. I expect, I actually expect this first my stream to go perfect. He said moments before disaster. Uh, three months from uh, Van the Tokumon. Good morning, Steven and Mal. Hope y'all have a great day. And also Crunch, congrats on your plus. 17 months from LHMS 1704. 17, yeah, that's a long time. Thank you both very much for 17 amazing months. Love from Norway. Well, thank you. So many people are getting close to 18 mm -hmm. months, which I believe is a one plus. We haven't seen any one pluses yet, but it's it's getting close. 14 months from the Great Ass Fairy. 14. Hmm. Doesn't quite have same, quite the same ring to it. I'm glad I finally have a chance to catch a breakfast stream again, even if it's only because I'm sneaking in while I work. No customers, <laughs> anyways. Nobody snitch. <laughs> Don't anybody snitch. Don't you do it. I mean, if work is slow, nothing's going on. Yeah. And you don't have any other responsibilities to do at the time. Don't. I don't personally. I don't personally see harm in it. 16 months from Juvenation. Thank you, Juvenation. 300 bits from Paint Chipper. Good morning, grandparents. How are you guys lately? Doing all right. A little tired because I was up late. I was up late. Um, it's and my you, fault. It, I mean, it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is. I mean, like, some of the stuff I was working on, I probably could have rearranged and worked on some stuff later. Mm -hmm. um, but Mao was finishing up her January painting. Uh-huh. And did. It's done. So, that's good. So you're, you're going to be yeah. releasing that pretty soon. Probably not today, yeah. but maybe tomorrow. Maybe, maybe tomorrow. Also, yeah, sure. Early beans. It's, we're only 14 minutes into the show, but sure, have some early beans. Patreon.com slash Stephen George or Malmix. Thank you so much for supporting us uh, on those platforms. Those platforms. Platform, I guess it's a single platform. That's correct. Um, also, related to, uh, related to Patreon... There's a brand new uh, Patreon video um, on mine that I released last night and <laughs> last night at like 2:30 a.m. Um, so just check that out. There's a lot of there's a lot of good information. Um, we talk 
a little bit about um, some of the stream ideas that we've been coming up with and some of the stuff that I want to do hopefully this year. There's some, there's some good stuff in there. TBH. Anyway, uh, 11 months from Lugo44, Chugga and Beans. It's a good combination. Nine months from M.O. Finney. Good morning, George family and friends. I'm glad my Christmas package arrived safely and that you like your new crochet friends. Have a <laughs> wonderful day. Uh, well, first off, congrats on Triple Plus. I uh, appreciate that. And then also, yes, we love them. They're probably not going to be there, admittedly, for too much longer because we need to... Uh, Keep putting Wii games on the shelf. Well, we need to organize them. Yeah. We need to organize them. Um, and when we do, everything's going to move, including Peggy. Um... And that's going to be pretty soon, but uh, they'll, pro they'll, pro they'll probably be happily just like right off screen. So, uh, but thank you for that. And then also, while I was reading that, there was a milk bomb. Oh snap! Was that Murmur? I think it was Murmur. I can scroll, you up, and scroll up and find I out. I can scroll <laughs> up and find out. It was. Thank you for the uh, the five gift subs there. We're still working our way up towards that. We have another year today. Twelve months for Happy Yoshi 1973. Wow! One whole year. So happy. You guys really brighten my day in the community. Simply amazing. This is the one place that I feel uh, like I truly belong. Thanks for the, uh, thanks for this sub year, and I can't wait for the next one. Thank you so much for what you do. Woo! Happy Yoshi. I am. I'm happy you're happy. It's literally in your name. And then also congrats on a on a full year. And I'm. I, it means a lot when you when you say that you feel like you belong here. I, we've tried to make the community as um, I don't know. Good. <laughs> I was talking to my mom yesterday, and she was saying something about, like, oh, maybe your stuff will go real big. And I was like, yeah, but it's also kind of makes me nervous. And she's like, why? And I was like, well, because I have such a good community, you know? Yeah, I, I think, I'd hate for that to change. I think I think it's it's a calculated thing. Like mm -hmm. the same the same feeling of anxiety that that I had at 100,000 subs on Steven Plays, I had that same anxiety at 10,000 subs. But I think, uh, you know, growing carefully and being cautious and mm -hmm. continuing to try and exude the same type of atmosphere that you want to receive helps. Yeah. Um, does it get harder the, the larger you are? I mean, sure. But I, I, think, I think we've managed to handle things pretty well, which is good. And we do. We have. We just have really. We have really good people. You just talked about this. Well, also fitting music for this discussion. I agree, Squid. Uh, you were talking about that, and I just could hear the metal like. Dun, 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 dun. Like we have a really good, wholesome community. Dun, 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 dun. And I'm like, it's fine. It's fine. I'm not gonna. I'm not, I'm not gonna fix it. Um, eight months from ten to crowd. Good morning, grandparents. House toast and hot beverages this morning. It's good. The sweet tea toast is a little weird, but not like <laughs> bad weird, just I expect fruit. You know Space what I mean? Space and music. Posted yeah. one of Jack's. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> uh, we got 10 months from Sudabite. We also have two months from Be Man for Days. So glad to be part of this community. Also, morning, everyone. Good morning. 15 months from Dark Sky Destiny. 15 months also from Jennifer Jack. Thank you both. Uh, three months at Tier 2. It's Gold Toast. Gold Toast. From Superior LP. Three months already of waking up to Morning Mario, then Crunch, and then dashing to work. Thank you for the morning routine and entertainment. Shout out to everyone who watches the show before work and then has to get to work. Brandon included. I know Brandon has to do that too. Um, I'm, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. I know some people have, have treated the show like a... Um, audio podcast in the car. <laughs> they just run it through their speaker system and just drive and just listen to us. Because it's very, you know, there's not too many things that, that you need to see, I guess. Yeah. Mr. Ben says, I actually just got off of work. Night shifters unite. I mean, then I'm glad that we're your entertainment before bed. I mean, I guess you're not necessarily going to bed, but if you've been working, then you're probably getting closer to being tired. So yeah, I guess you actually would be going to bed. At least in the next, like, a little bit. A little tiny bit. 
the 2033 bits, the um, the Peggy alert that we had uh, a little bit earlier was from Danny X6. It says, after volunteering at the Sundance Film Festival for 10 days, uh, 7 p.m. to 2 a.m. Oh, God. Wow. <laughs> it feels good to be awake for this again, and Peggy seems like the harbinger of good feels. Uh, first off, that's awesome. I, I, I have to admit, I'm like at least a little jealous of that. Like, the, the idea of working those hours for 10 days is not appealing. The idea of being involved in Sundance is appealing, because I think that that would be really, really uh, spectacular. So hopefully you at least had fun. You had a good time and uh, probably made some really good memories. And but... Peggy spreads goodwill. <laughs> I mean, compared to those hours, yes. Yes. I think that that's probably preferable. But I hope you had fun, and thank you for the bits. I appreciate that. Uh, ten months from Rocktron LPs. Ten months! Time flies, huh? It does. It never stops, much to my dismay. Uh, 17 months from Tachi Gamer 96 17 months of crunch with my favorite internet grandparents. When you say favorite internet grandparents, it does imply that you have others. And I'm really curious. <laughs> like, how many? Like, you're just going through, like, your Rolodex. Rolodex. Everyone's got a Rolodex, right? Yes, Stephen. <laughs> At least six people just had to Google, like, what is a Rolodex? Waluigi Girl subscribes. Thank you, Waluigi Girl. I also got eight months from Sparks XV, uh, eight months, and now I'm also at the, uh, a patron at the producer level. Love you both. Keep up the amazing work uh, entertaining the grandchildren. We're trying. We'll continue to do my best. Uh, I got 100 bits from uh, Ange. Thank you, Ange. And uh, seven months from Snoop the Boot. Seven months. Glad to be supporting you both. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go freak out over all the homework I have to get done this week. College is a wild time. Good luck. We're, how close are we to spring break? Oh, we're only like halfway there. Easter's in April. Bro. Oh, we're not even halfway. I think it's like the 12th this year. I don't know dates. Yeah, we're in the beginning of February, so it's like two months. Yeah, okay, that's that's like a... A while. Yeah. See, I don't... You guys may not know this, um... I've been out of school. Some people have theirs the middle of March. For approximately 10,000 years. And because of that, I forget, I forget a lot of things. I forget school exists. I forget children exist. Do I see school buses? Um, so because of all this, it, it, it can be very alarming when people are like, I'm doing homework. And I'm like, that sounds awful. <laughs> sounds like the worst thing. We were talking about this at your parents on Sunday. Like, you said you forget, you know, like, oh, school buses, I forget about that. Yeah, we actually talked about that, I think, like, the most recent breakfast stream. We did? Okay. I'm pretty sure. So I don't want to, I don't want every breakfast stream to be like, you know what is wild? talking about it on Children, Sunday. where do they go? In the day, they're gone. But in the evenings, they appear at the Walmart. I mean, what I said wasn't wrong. Technically true. <laughs> 301 bits from Squid who says, What if someone wants their tea unsweetened? We ask them politely yet firmly to leave. I mean, there's not any places around here where you can, where you can't get unsweet tea. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, and this, this is actually, this is funny. I think this is funny and relates really well. Often, if you order unsweet tea, they will ask you if you want sweetener. Which I know sounds well in opposition to what you're trying to do, but does, the reason they do that is so you can control it. Or if you want, like, Sweet and Low or Splenda. Yeah, if you want yeah. something else. So that happens a lot. Um, you know, it, Vosik says this happens all the time in Japan. So if you, if you want unsweet tea, a, a lot of times they're going to be like, they're either going to automatically bring you the thing of sweeteners, um, or they're going to ask. Or they have, like, Lipton. Like, their yeah. unsweet is Lipton or something. And it's like, hmm. Yeah. But, uh, and I mean, like, for, for what it's worth, there's there are certainly a sizable uh, amount of people that order an unsweet tea. Not to have it unsweetened, but to control what's going into yeah. it. And, like, I mean, when we worked at Carabas, 
I know how often we had to re remake tea. Yep. And we remade sweet tea at least twice as often. In the bigger oh, urns. Oh, at very yeah. least. Yeah. At very least. It's it's just what people drink here. Mm -hmm. That's that I'm I'm most proud of that change because that is like very deeply ingrained into my southern roots of drinking sweet tea. Mm -hmm. And that's the biggest change I've made in the past like year year plus. Mm -hmm is I just stopped drinking sweet tea, and I started drinking unsweet tea. Um, and it was hard to get used to that. I'm not, like, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so if there's, any, if, there's, if there's any other Southerners that are like trying to make that transition and they're like, this is so hard, unsweet tea tastes awful. Start um, with like half and half. Half yeah. sweet, half unsweet. Yeah, I, and, and I did that, but I eventually got there. Yeah. So, yeah. And now I make this really good cold brew unsweet. Yeah, and that's good too. It's really good. It probably it probably helps a little bit if you like bitter things. Yeah. Um, you drink black coffee. I drink black coffee, and I've been drinking black coffee for a long time, so it made the transition probably a little bit easier. But it's still hard, because mm -hmm. I'm like, tea is supposed to be sweet. And it was really hard to trade in my brain to be like, it's fine. It's a beverage. It doesn't have to. It doesn't have to have sugar in it. Um, and I still, I will still drink sweet tea occasionally, but uh, at this point, I've more or less, you know, cut it out. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we got 300 bits from uh, Jesse who says, "Good morning, amazing grandparents." Stephen, how did your late night post Super Bowl stuff go? Uh, pretty good. I had some things to take care of. I guess I've had some late night stuff to take care of for the past few days. <laughs> yeah. The difference is whether or not like I can wake up <laughs> early or not. Because like on breakfast stream days, I get to get up for breakfast stream. Uh -huh. um, and then other days, I, if I have, if I can, I'll sleep in a little bit. But uh, things have been going pretty good. There's just been a lot. There's been a lot of stuff to try and do. But I'm. Yeah. I'm happy with the way things are going. I mean, like I like I said a minute ago, Mal finished her next painting. Yeah. Um, and it's pretty. It it is pretty. It's very pretty. It's pretty. It's a uh -huh. pretty simple piece. But if you don't mind pretty. me saying. No, I don't mind. But but it's 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 pretty. It's, it's just it just what it is. It has pretty colors. It, and it's, it's uh pretty. you know it's <laughs> trying to you know. Give a hint about what it's game. It's purple. That's a good hint. It's very purple. It is very purple. So if you like purple, you all right? I don't know. I was freezing this morning and it's hot up here. It is a little warm up here. And I haven't been drinking a lot of my coffee, whereas you have, so you might be getting yeah. a, little, a little hotter. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's very purple. And also, um, it's... Uh, It would be, I think it would be good. It would be good anywhere. Paintings are good anywhere. Yeah. But I think it would be really good in a kid's room. Especially like a nursery. Yeah. Personally. Does that give too much away? <laughs> Brandon says, I'm so excited for this party. <laughs> You guys remember that Barney game on Genesis that plays itself if you don't <laughs> touch the controller? And you can't lose and Barney never gets hurt? Also, you can't lose and Barney never gets hurt feels like a tagline for the game. It's on the back cover. You can't lose and Barney never gets hurt. Anyway, also I just want everyone to know that that game has a speedrunning category for not playing the game. And if you're like, wait. Isn't that time the same? No wouldn't that what? time be the same yeah. for everything? And the answer is yes. So it's just a world record thing <laughs> where everyone is in first place. <laughs> sometimes, the, sometimes the world makes good, good things. Sapphire says, what if Barney did get hurt though? If you get to the cliff in the game, because I had this game growing up, he goes, stop, wait until it's safe. Well. <laughs> Wait until the cliff is safe? Well, like, there's, like, moving platforms that you can walk on. Oh. So when the platform's not there, he holds up a stop sign. And then if you fall down, like, the small amount that he can jump down, he goes, whoop, and he kind of jumps, and, like, that's it. Can you imagine if, if 
you played a Mario game, and like Mario refused to jump until the platforms were a certain distance away. That <laughs> you'd like just run towards the edge, and Mario just stops and goes, "Hold on, I, I got to wait until it's safe." Every time. Wait for a few thousand years of erosion for the cliff to be safe. Someone had asked if it was hide and seek. Yeah, it's Barney. Barney's hide and, hide and seek. seek. And there's are there multiple Barney games for Genesis? There might be, but that's the one I had, and I think that's the only one that plays itself. Good games. You don't get any points Good if games. that happens, though, because you can get up to ten points on each of the four levels. And it's weird because you'd think you'd start at one side of the world and spawn and then like go to the end, but you start in the center. And then there's stuff hidden on both sides. Yep. So you have to walk one way, hopefully not hit the checkpoint that'll end the level, and then go back the other way and get everything on the other side. It's an it's an experience. Any percent no controller. Yeah, that's what it's called. God, it's um it's an experience. I really wonder if someone's compiled a list of games that require no input to finish them. Because, like, there's definitely got to be other games than just Barney. I'm sure there's other games where it's like, if you don't touch it, it wins. <laughs> like, oh, okay. Uh, 16 months from Herald of Exeus. Uh, 16! Thank you for that. We got a sub also from uh, Zelda Fan 247 2010. And nine months sub from Zack Attack 0917. Wow, nine months already. It's been a while since I last seen a breakfast stream. Shh. I'm in the portable bathroom at work to watch a little bit of breakfast stream. Don't tell my boss. Shh. So many so many people doing the sneaky the sneaky stream this morning. Don't worry. Snitches get stitches. Congrats on uh, congrats on triple plus too. Uh, Murmur gifted five subs. Where did they go? I'll tell you. It's not confidential. They went to Baka U, the Bay XLR, uh, Roaming Traveler, Shadow Chaos 117, and Bingo Snake. I like Bingo Snake. I like that name. Remember, thank you. Appreciate the milk bomb. Got six Wait. What? What song is this? It's opera! I know that! You uncultured swine! Oh, come on, I know more opera than you do. <laughs> and musicals. Yeah? Do you? The whole Super Bowl, every time they kept saying Garoppolo, the quarterback for the 49ers, Lindsay kept singing the Hamilton parody with his name. So then I had that stuck in my head all night. You probably know more. Oh, offers. is this Torador for, from Carmen? I can't hear it very well. You probably you probably know more operas than me. I've seen Carmen. Like, all of Carmen. I saw a Hey Arnold episode <laughs> where they parody it, so I feel like I've seen it, too. So take that. Uh, 16 months. <laughs> 16 months from Jason Jennings 24. Good morning, guys. Thanks for having me, and sorry we don't get on as much as we normally do, but still love you guys, and thanks for all you do. Thank you, Jay. I appreciate that, and I hope that uh, I hope that things are going well for you and your family. Uh, 460 bits from Troop Captain 97. Still waiting for the day. Some newer viewer asks why the Patreon credits are referred to as beans. I mean, even if they don't ask, I'm sure that they think it. <laughs> I mean, we we tend to, at the very least, have it have at least like one new viewer. I think for a breakfast stream, like, cruising around Twitch, being so like... So whoever you are today, welcome. Uh, welcome to ev anyone who's new. And uh, if you're wondering why Patreon credits are beans, me too. I also won wonder that. I know that. why. Because it was a joke with Bush's Baked Beans where they say, roll that beautiful bean footage. Oh, and yeah. And we're rolling That's right. the beans. And so they turn into coffee beans because we have coffee. So now they're beans. She's right. She's right. And, and I think it's credited specifically to Thomas. Because yeah. Thomas was the one that every time was like, roll that beautiful bean footage. And it's also important that people be old enough to, to remember that commercial <laughs> yeah. or it loses all of its appeal. Um, I mean, our, our community definitely skews 
old enough to remember that. But you know, if we have any, if we have any younger people in the audience, they may, they may be like, I don't recall. The, and if I say it with my mouth, it sounds like a fever dream. It's a, it's a commer, it's a series of commercials that went on for years about a dog that's trying to sell a baked bean family <laughs> recipe. As a kid, I just accepted this, <laughs> and now as an adult, I'm like, who came up with this? Like, all the execs in the office are like, all right, so let me tell you about this idea I got. The dog, the, CEO the, dog has, dog. <laughs> the dog has the recipe and is trying to sell it. Space Fixin says, what's the name, dog's name Duke? Yeah, because it was, wasn't he Duke? Is it Duke? I think he was Duke. Now, when you say Duke in, re in reference to commercials, the first thing I think of is the colors Duke, the colors, which is an equally Brandon old... Brandon has the link for one of them. Equal, equally... It's Bush's Baked Beans. Well, is the dog named Duke? Is that... It's Duke, right? Yeah, because the guy says Duke. And they don't do, like... They don't do the moving mouth thing. No. Because there's, like, some commercials or movies or whatever to go over the top to animate the animal's mouth. They don't do that. They just point it at the dog and the dog talks. With like his uh, mind. Yeah. yeah. With, with his mind. <laughs> it's a psychic dog, as you have. <laughs> Um, it's, it's, it's home, it's homeward bound style. Yeah. Not, I have no idea, I don't have any examples for the other kind. What's a movie where, like, they make the thing talk? Brandon says they do for some of them. Okay, maybe the, I guess the newer ones. <laughs> Psychic bean dog. <laughs> anyway, Duke's trying to sell the recipe, and the guy was like, no, this has been in our family forever. And then he's like, roll that beautiful bean footage, and then it's just like slow pans and like stuff with beans to I really can't illustrate wait illustrate how beautiful they are. I cannot wait for our new recurring breakfast stream segment. Stephen Amao explain old commercials. Or we just You'll choose call Mao. We'll just choose a commercial and recall it from memory and try to explain it and then slowly realize how insane it is. <laughs> The Sears commercial is my all-time favorite commercial. Not because it's good, but because <laughs> I've never had a commercial be stuck in my head forever. Because <laughs> that's just, it never leaves. Another Scorcher? Cool. <laughs> you said you'd call yesterday. I'll call today! You'll call now. I'll call now. Again, there is, there is <laughs> There is definitely, like, some line for age where, like, immediately either everyone is on board or is, like, I'm so confused about what's happening. But, like, I can see the commercial in my head and it's, it's, it's terrible. I've got to keep moving. Uh, 500, bi <laughs> 500 Bits from Murmur says, I finally get a job in my field of study, so here's some gifts, subs, and bits to celebrate. I see. Murmur, congratulations. And, and along with that, congratulations. Here's Peggy to Here, cheer you. Here's Peggy to cheer you on. That's awesome. Getting a field, uh, job in your field of study is a big deal. Um, so I, uh, I hope that you feel accomplished. And, uh, you know, thank you for choosing to celebrate with us. I appreciate that. And then that Peggy alert that you just heard, that was from Tired Psycho Pomp 91. He said, I remember being so confused by Peggy's existence when I started watching Breakfast Stream. I had missed the 2018 Extra Life odds, and I was really concerned by our Eldritch Monstrosity Overlord. I can see that. And actually, I'm so glad now that there's like a memorable moment now that exists that's just about the existence of Peggy. Um, yeah, I think Brandon, Brandon just posted it. It's really helpful because in case anyone's like, what is Peggy? You what just, is Peggy? You could just be like, you got five minutes. <laughs> and then and then that clears it all up. And they're like, I get it. <laughs> it's still super weird, but I get it. So uh, thank you for the bits. And um, I, you definitely weren't alone in that because there's a lot of people I think that uh, were confused in case they didn't see the 2018 Extra Life. Uh, Renee says, you try to explain to the moms at the bus stop that I have to go in because I have a date to watch people eat toast. <laughs> I mean, like, on the one hand, on the one hand, we, 
we are growing up in a really unique generation, mm -hmm. and I love it. I love it so much because we, we have this unique generation of people that uh, play video games and that that is normal, um, and doing things like uh, watching people on, on Twitch is not that unheard of. And while there are still other members of our generation that do not do those things, and it may be a little odd to them, it's more acceptable now than ever. You know, whereas if you, you know, were playing video games heavily, I don't know, mm -hmm. 30 or 40 years ago, like that would have been really weird. It's obviously a lot more socially acceptable now. So like, that's good. Like we're moving towards that, but there are still going to be people that are like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> And you know, I mean, it's it's like uh, whenever Mal and I explain what we do, yeah, you can get away with it a little more easily because oh, you can yeah. just say like, "I'm a painter," and yeah. people understand what that is. And sometimes I have to clarify that I'm an artist painter, not a wall painter. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but like for me, like if someone asks what I do, the answer I give them is like completely related to their age. Yeah. Like, if they're younger, I'll tell them what I do. If they're older, the older they get, like, the more and more vague my job becomes. <laughs> yeah. And if they're really old, like, sometimes it's just, uh, you know, I do the computer. Or, uh, you know, I, I work with video or something like that. It's, it's more and more vague. So. Like, our neighbors are all retired folk. And it's like, who do you guys do? Yeah. Brandon says, you should just say, I work for Google. I've used that before. Yeah. I've used that before. That's if I want to dumb it down and also impress whoever I'm talking to. Because that sounds far more impressive Coffee. than <laughs> I film my cats. <laughs> if I say I film my cats, they're going to be like, oh. Have you ever told the story? Don't talk to that guy anymore. Of when you and Thomas went to barbecue house. Oh my God. Is he here? I don't know. I don't think he's here this morning. It'd be, be it'd be a better it'd be a better story if he's here, um, but yeah, there was. There was a I thought he was here, but maybe. Fossick says he was here. Is he still Is here? Is he still here though? He may not be. Yeah, he, he may, was he, here. Yeah. He had to leave. He he can't stay like super, um, long during mm -hmm. breakfast stream because he's got work. But I'll, I'll, I'll tell a very quick version of the story, and then maybe one day he can recount it himself to get extra <laughs> juicy details. But um, there was one time that we went to... It was Barbecue House. Yeah. And this was this was multiple years ago. I was still teaching, because you guys went for lunch and I was at work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was just me and Thomas that went to yeah. lunch. And uh, it was around the time of a Transformers movie coming out. And the only reason I know that is because when we went in and sat down, Thomas was all dressed up, because Thomas is just always dressed up. Uh, he had on, I don't know, a sweater vest or whatever. And, um... Is this on the vlog? Maybe. I don't know if the whole story was, like, if it was just lunch or if it was... The lunch is definitely... We talk, yeah. like the, we talk about the lunch. But uh, while we were sitting there, um, the waitress comes over, and uh, the waitress says, you know, oh, you're, you know, you're, you're all dressed up. And uh, Thomas immediately, this is the beginning of the meal. Like she's just come over to take our order or whatever. Thomas, without missing a beat, says uh, like, oh, I'm, uh, I'm, a fav I'm a famous movie producer. And I just stare at him and I'm like, <laughs> and he goes, he goes, and this is, this is uh, my editor. Did you see the new Transformers movie that just came out in theaters? Like we made that. And I'm just staring at him, and I'm thinking, "What are you doing?" <laughs> and she, and like, she immediately like was in. She was like, "Oh my goodness, that's incredible!" And I'm just like, I'm having, I'm having a temporary breakdown over this because I'm thinking, <laughs> "What are you doing?" And also, this is like the beginning of the meal. Like, we're gonna have to keep up this charade the whole this time. charade the whole time. And she's like, oh, that's so incredible. And, and, and he goes, yep, yep. And he's just like talking all about this. And I'm just like, I'm just <laughs> staring at him. And uh, throughout the entire meal, like we never let this up. 
And I just kept thinking like, what are you doing? And it's so funny because, you know, that that has never happened. Thomas has never done that any other time. He was just in like a mood and decided <laughs> that that was what he wanted to do. And and I kept thinking in a mi like in a minute and he's gonna be like, oh, we're just kidding. But he didn't. She took our drink order and left. And I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> And he's like, it's fine. And I'm like, cool. <laughs> so yeah, I've never seen him do that ever again. But uh, yeah, it was funny. And apparently I, I have talked about this story okay. on, on the internet before. So the further back you can go and get that story, the better the story will be. Because as time goes on and memories get jumbled and faded, you're not going to remember quite as well. But uh, yeah, go watch watch my account of that at some point because it's it's wild uh let me keep reading Fosix gifted a sub to toe jam mm -mm -mm. uh <laughs> troop captain 97 gifted a sub to toe jam and earl because we didn't want to leave earl out of that shout out to miniature golf courses in space which i presume is what toe jam and earl is about 510 bits to uh, 05 nataku first want to thank the community who is awesome i reached my first plus on gift subs only uh, bits of solid support I can do, sadly. Always watch the stream with my cat, who is most interested when one or both Astronicats show up. He loves watching uh, Astronicat vids, but fails to realize that the kitties on the screen cannot answer him when he meows at them. <laughs> I've seen some other um, viewers send me photos of their cats, like on Twitter and stuff, trying to interact with our cats, and mm -hmm. that always that always makes me smile. We get 300 bits from Satsu. He says, Steven, have you found a way to keep your coffee warm yet? Have you got a toaster? Have you got a toaster? A toaster? I just poured in the toaster. A toaster? Thank you. Have you got a coaster to put on the mug before it's too cold to work? Uh, I haven't done that. It's something that I'm vaguely interested in, but not enough to, like, solve myself. And, you know, it... Let's see, how warm is my coffee? Oh, can't be... There's Kepi! He heard us It's actually still quite warm him. today, and it's because I've left so much in the cup. That the cup stayed warmer? That it's staying warmer. Because normally by the time we get to this time, it's like... Hi, honey. It's here. usually cold, and it's actually still warm today, come so here, that's Kepi. good. You coming up, bud? Come on. You want to come up? I see you. Come on. Come here. You walking? Okay, you walking around the couch? I think he's going to come over on that side. Hi, sweetheart. Kepler. I can't make him jump. No. Uh, Existential Joker gives a sub to Tanner the Gamer 101, putting them at three months. Thank you, Joker. Uh, seven months from Apelia, or that's not Apelia, that's Eplia. Audio podcast during work. See? People do it. It works. There's, uh, you know, you, you might miss out on a few cats doing a thing every once in a while. Or like two weeks, was it a week or two ago, whenever the cats ran through here like a bat out of hell and the, the camera was like, boop, ba doop, ba doop. I think that was last week. Last week. Sweetheart. But like the amount of times that that actually happens is yeah. fairly, fairly minuscule, seeing as that that's happened once. Can't be left. Arian says, Stephen does have a history of putting liquids in toasters. Butter is not a liquid. It is after it's in the toaster. It's a plasma. 17 months from Danny X6. Film recommendations from Sundance for anyone who wants them. Nine days, and then we danced and Palm Springs. Highly, highly recommended. Also, yes, it was a blast. Cool. Cool. I'm glad that you had fun, and uh, thank you for the recommendations. Um, there's always pretty amazing stuff that comes out of Sundance. Um, and it'll be interesting to hopefully catch some of these. Uh, I think I talked about it before on the, on the vlog pretty recently, but like, I didn't watch a single movie in 2019. And the realization of that hurt worse than not watching the movies. The realization I watched nothing was like, oh no. So, uh, you know, hopeful for 2020. And I've, I've, I've promised myself at the very least I'm watching the Harry Potter films this year. Yeah. Which Lindsay, like her face was like, mm -hmm. she looked like the, is it the Cheshire cat? Is that the name of it? Cheshire cat, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then uh, maybe also hopefully the rest of the Star Wars films. I, there's, I'm, and it's nothing against those series, but like I'm not even 
I'm more interested in watching standalone cinema yeah. than I am in watching these series, but if I force myself to do it, I would at least have, have experienced the things that I haven't understood for years, and that's, that's what I'm hopeful for. Um, let's see. We also got uh, Yankee Gal 13 gifting a sub to Sweet Tea, putting Sweet Tea at one month. Uh, Akira Dre resubscribes for six months. My dad can't stand sweet tea. Once, when he uh, when we were out, he ordered unsweet tea, as he almost always does, and the face he made when he took a sip of the sweet tea they brought him on accident was pretty amazing. It can be alarming if you're expecting one thing. Like, if your brain is like, mm -hmm. I'm about to drink a Coke, and then you get like, I don't know, Dr. Pepper. There's a brief moment where your brain is like, no, ah, what's happening? On Sunday, your mom had grapes and cherry tomatoes, and I put some of both on my plate. It's a mistake. And I saved the grapes for last because they're like dessert. And yeah. the first thing I ate was a cherry tomato, and I don't know why, but I thought it was going to be a grape, and it was real weird. Yep. It's, uh, and it's, it's, it's just interesting because the expectation of taste is literally part of the taste experience, mm -hmm. you know? And the minute that you're expecting something to taste one way and it tastes yeah. another is super, super alarming. Um, but yeah, the uh, unsweet sweet tea thing has happened to me too. Growing up, it was the other way around. It was expecting sweet tea and then being like, what is this? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> but uh, now I can do both. 300 bits from Goldman, she says, uh, good morning, Stephen Mao. Woke up really late today, 9.09, but glad I could use mobile to tune into this while I prepped breakfast hot cocoa uh, today. Got lots of adultish things later, like signing up for insurance, resume updating, and doing some online research that I need. Thank you both for helping me have the emotional fortitude to attempt all that. You got it. You got this. Adulting sucks. <laughs> One thing at a time. But, it, yeah, like Mao says, it helps me to just tackle things one thing at a time. If, if I can just pick one thing and say, I'm gonna do this, and then the next thing, I'm gonna do this, then I get through it. But, uh, you know, shout out to, shout out to others that, like, leave bills on their counter for just, you know, a little bit. They get paid in time, but I, I don't always deal with them the day they come. I'm like, I have other things to worry about right now. It's not good. Renee says, I feel personally attacked by that. We need one of those, like, in and out boxes. Like, these are a place to put mail. Because sometimes things we just have, end up on our table and it's a mess. I mean... Yeah. I've never, I've never been laid on a bill. I've never been laid on a bill. But... <laughs> I have been close. Closer than I, I should have ever been. Partially because I will, I'll get a bill, and sometimes I'm good. Sometimes I'm like, I'm gonna pay this right now, but often I'm not. Often I'm, often I'm like, and counter. And then at some point there's a stack, and I'm like, oh, mail. And I forget. I'm like, where did this come from? And I was like, you've been putting it there for like three days. The only time we ever had a problem was when we first moved into the apartment here. Yeah. From Columbia. Like, we had the stress of moving, and I started teaching at the high school, and we didn't even realize we never got a water bill. No, electric. Electric. We didn't even think about it. We were just, you know, kept living and never came. And then, finally, we got a final notice, and they're like, we're going to shut off your electric. You haven't paid. And we had never gotten the bill. Yeah. Yeah. And so, it turns out they had put the wrong apartment number in. And then that they were fun. like, well, you should have known you weren't getting a bill. We just moved. <laughs> yeah, it's not on my mind. Yeah. Sorry, electric company. You're not my you're not my one and only thought every month. <laughs> um, I've got. Can't wait for her worry electric. <laughs> yeah, like I, I've I've got so many things going on at any given time that like if the bill doesn't come to me like oh I'm it's yeah no it's not going to get paid. This <laughs> is how rude of your neighbors not to pay for electric bill. Right? They could have they could have at least welcomed us to the neighborhood by like hey we paid your electric. bill. Oh, cool! We made you cookies. Is that a fair trade? <laughs> for, for what it's worth, it's hundred and fifty dollars worth of cookies. Uh, eight months from Epic DXX. Thanks for uh, thanks for that. Seventeen months from Fossix. He says normally I wouldn't be able to join since I started adulting, but due to complications, <laughs> TM, I'll be working from home for the next week or so, so I'll be able to join for breakfast stream. Well, cool. Yay. I mean, I don't want to like cheer on complications because. <laughs> 
but that, I mean that sounds bad. It's like a non-related bonus. Yeah. Like because of complications, yeah. breakfast stream, and yeah. that's that's good. Yeah. But it does feel weird to be like, yay, complications. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for being here, uh, Fossix. Yeah, I'm glad you're here. Uh, we got 200 bits from uh, Sudabite. Thank you, Sudo. Uh, LHMS1704 gives a sub to Mashed Potato. I'll take it. Uh, 300 bits from Furious Kid. Uh, yet again, I have no idea what you're talking about, American commercials. Oh well, have a great day and shout out to the awesome community. So the great thing is, though, uh, if you're confused about the commercial, you can just watch it on YouTube and all the commercials are like 30 seconds, so you can get the joke immediately. You don't have the lifelong horror of it replaying in your mind forever. But I imagine that folks in other countries have that too, where like there's a commercial that ran for a long time and it's just stuck in your head, and it's like a regional thing or or uh, a national thing, and it's exclusive to you. But yeah, if if there's anyone that's not from the U.S. and does not know what we're talking about, um, you can probably search for classic Sears uh, air conditioning commercial and find it, because like that's that's definitely one. Um, I would definitely recommend that one. Then what was the other one we were talking about earlier? The bean commercial. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, Bush's Baked Beans commercial. So you can search those, and then you'll be able to find them, and then you'll know all about them. People so, are talking about zoo plates, and I have no idea what they're talking about. Zoo plates? Yeah. You mean zoo books? I remember zoo books. What's a z zoo pals? Zoo pal? What's a zoo pal? <laughs> Is that, because there was a zoo. Where, when was Zoo Pals? Zoo Pals house makes eating fun? What the crap? Was this like between 2006 and 2011? Because I didn't have TV. Fun. Sorry, I'm looking this up right now. And uh, <laughs> you will wait. Zoo Pals. Zoo Pals plates. Plates that took animals and they had special sections for ears so your food didn't touch. I've seen those. They made one for Arthur. In case you, in case, in case your 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 thing was like, I have to eat macaroni and cheese, but only out of Arthur's ear. That can be arranged. Um, yeah, weird. Ninety-five to two thousand eight. How did I miss that? I mean, I've seen the plates. In my opinion, this wouldn't have stood out to me as anything like, I don't know, worth remembering. I guess. You know? Yeah. But like everyone but apparently, was commercial. Apparently lots of people remember this, so I okay. I don't remember this, but it's also something I would not have like put to memory. But I I, I I'll have to catch the commercial. Yeah. At some point. <laughs> you heard it here first. Arthur belongs in the zoo. Well he's an animal. He's an aardvark, isn't he? I think so. I think so. I don't know what he is exactly. I'm not really familiar. I'm not that familiar with the show. I didn't really yeah. watch it. I have seen some of it to be like vaguely familiar with the concept of the show. A space fixin says aardvark, yeah. But he was he was on. It was a show for kids, and he was on during a time where I was not. I think in the correct age bracket. I was just a little older for yeah. that. That being said, I also was too old for Blue's Clues, and I've seen a lot of those. I only saw a lot because at the time I was, I had a babysitter, like, before and after school, and my, my mom was at work still. Yeah. So I'd, like, walk to their house and just kind of hang out for an hour until my mom was done with work. Mm -hmm. And, like, the younger kids that were there, they'd watch Blue's Clues, and I'd just sit. <laughs> Sorry, Missing No Leader triggered an entire commercial in my head. <laughs> Animal crackers in my soup, monkeys in rabbits loop the loop. And then the man walking forward and be like, the timeless songs of Shirley Temple, <laughs> now Shirley available. Temple DVD collection. Now available. Or VHS. And I'm like, oh God, no. <laughs> so now, Hi, um, come here. Come here. <laughs> Lucas says muzzy. Come yes, that's French those children are speaking, but they're not French, they're American. 
and they've acquired their amazing new language skills from Muzzy. Hi, sweetheart. I, you know, it's just, the thing that sucks is that these aren't the things I want to remember. You know, I'm going to be on my deathbed and they're going to be, they're going to be like, do you have any final words? And I'll be like, I'll call now. <laughs> it's not what I want to, <laughs> it's not what I want to remember. Uh, evil be gone from this breakfast stream. The power of modern TV compels Kipler, thee. I'm just adjusting my legs. Well, I mean, the problem is I don't watch television. We don't even have cable, so like. We don't even know normal commercials. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm super curious, like what commercials are lately. The, if you were to ask me what my idea of a modern commercial was, the the closest thing I could tell you was the YouTube ad that ran for a long time of the guy in front of his like Lamborghini. He's like, oh, I'm just up here in the Hollywood Hills with my Lamborghini. Um, I made a lot of money by my book, and like that ran for it, yeah, like for for a long time. So, and I'm sure there's other commercials. Fortunately, we haven't had to watch that commercial. I mean, um, we watched a, a ton of commercials on Sunday. Yeah, but they're all new. Yeah. There's not there's not something now that is going to become like something that we remember for a long time, because in order for that to happen, that Jeep commercial though. Coffee! The Groundhog Day one? Yes, I loved it. It was good. Hi, sweetheart. It was good. You're a good boy, Campy. Uh, I gotta keep reading. 300 bits from Jam, who says, Good morning, everyone. I just realized that the Patreon video came out like a minute after I left last night. Looks like the secret of the Your Important Vlog has been explained. Now whatever is behind the panda. I always forget that's a thing. And it's, I, I think the, the funny thing is that it's not even... As I recall, it's not even a big deal. It's just become a big deal because we put a panda there. Um, if you want to make anything seem more important, censor it. Even if there's nothing there, just censor it. Oh my gosh, Ed Zoologist funny. just triggered a memory. What kind of Skittles do you say those are? Berries? Berries and what else? I don't berries remember that. Berries and cream. Berries and cream. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, pet me, stop that. I vaguely know what you're talking about. The little boy that's like, I'm a little boy who loves berries and yeah. cream. But that, I've seen that like twice, maybe, <laughs> at best. So. Hi. You're so precious. I, I kind of, I kind of knew what you were talking about, but. Yeah. It doesn't come anywhere close to the Sears commercial. Gold Mage gifted sub to Plasma Toast. It's plasma. I wasn't wrong. <laughs> 507 bits from Troop Captain 97 says, The way Steven described butter as a plasma reminds me of when I was a kid. My sister argued that yogurt was a plasma. <laughs> I can see her argument. Uh, it's, you know, it's not, it's not quite a liquid. Maybe not quite a solid. Is his head in frame? It is, it is in fact, a fourth state of matter. Uh, a little bit, yeah. Oh, he's so cute. Hey, buddy. Hi. Yeah, we're... This is probably more zoomed out than it normally is, mm -hmm. but it's fine. You having a good time? He's purring so hard. Oh, 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 oh. He, he just... He's a good cat. He's a very good boy. Uh, four months from Leafly says, good morning. It's rare I can make breakfast stream, but it's always a blast. Well, I'm glad you're here. Hopefully it's not because of complications, but just because things worked out that way. Uh, five months from BRZ1994. Thanks for giving me something to do Tuesday and Thursday mornings. No problem. Happy happy to oblige, because we always enjoy this well. 300 bits from Furious Kitty says, uh, Funny, I don't remember any commercials at all. On a side note, I have the feeling German commercials have a higher production value because only big companies do it. Interesting. Hmm. Not remembering any commercials feels odd to me. But, I mean, depending, I guess, on where you are in the world, it might not be that weird. Also, um, you know, anyone who grew up in the U.S. and did not have cable probably is not going to have a very strong mm -hmm. memory of uh, commercials either. Um, or your the commercials you remember could vary greatly depending on whether you had basic cable, like the whatever it was, 18 channels? Me. Yeah, or if you had the full spectrum of... Whatever it was, 60 channels. So, I mean, also, like, countries. Because, like... Yeah, 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 yeah. Xenopost says we didn't really have local commercials either. 
But like in Japan, commercials are crazy. Uh huh. Oh, I found the I found the time. It's cold. Yeah, I was like, I wonder if nope. It's cold. Nope. Fifteen minutes ago, fine. But we we hit the mark. That'll get microwaved right after the stream. <laughs> anyway, we we it has been an hour. This one I got it. <clears throat> I don't know how everyone else feels. But this breakfast stream went particularly very fast for me. Like, yeah, very it did. fast. Like some of them have like a normal speed, and this one felt sped up in my head. Because I was like, oh, we just, no, we haven't even, we haven't really. You haven't finished your toast. Oh, well, wait. that's that's almost normal. I always always finish after. But like the 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 big thing is like, I felt like we we talked a little bit about commercials, mm -hmm. and then like it was over, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> Look with your special eyes. <laughs> That's... What is Stephanie that? Stephanie always said that. What is that, though? It's commercial. My brand. Look, look with your special eyes. That's not strong <laughs> enough for me to remember. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, I, I... It's like there's a piece of it in my head. But I don't remember anything beyond that. Apparently other people are remembering it though, but I'm just like, I can't... I can't recall these things. <coughs> Excuse me. Three into bits from Jamma says, uh, The funny thing, if I seem to remember more commercials from watching Stephen Play's vlog than TV, but it's been like three years since I turned on a proper TV, and I know they're all properly themed, uh, switch all over uh, the last vlog, especially the algorithm, the algorithm is wild like that. There's a bunch of Japanese commercial channels out there. Oddly, they're starting to feel more normal as I watch more Japanese commercials. Also, Steven should shotgun the toast in one bite to finish it. Do it, you won't. I can't. I can't do it. I because the, the only way I could do it is if I could wash it down. And you have cold coffee. And I can't do it with cold coffee. I like I can't bring myself to do it. If I had hot coffee, I could do it. But I can't do it with cold coffee. I'm like, oh, I can't. It's just... We already had a discussion about this a few weeks ago about... I was like, no one drinks coffee cold. They can't physically bring themselves to do it. And like 50% of the audience was like, yeah, we do it all the time. And I was like, what? But yeah, there's, uh, there's ads on YouTube. So, I mean, people are becoming familiar with those a little bit. Switch, <laughs> switch commercials uh, as well. So... I don't see a whole lot of, I don't see a whole, whole lot of, uh, stuff, because the, the, the one thing... Sorry. You're, you're <laughs> processing all this stuff, too. Yeah. The one thing about YouTube is that often, since we're utilizing, especially on, like, series, we're utilizing the same tags and the same description, yeah. it'll end up running the same thing. So you don't get a whole lot of variety. It's like you there's a particular commercial playing and then you see that a lot. So you end up seeing the same thing. Sagan is crying downstairs. The JG Wentworth ones are actually pretty good. When I think of commercials, I feel like they're a little more modern, even though at this point they're probably like 10 or 15 years yeah. old. But the JG Wentworth, all of them are good because they use the same song. And that becomes very memorable. They mm -hmm. did a really good job. Mr. Ben says, uh, you know, Luca did a stream not too long ago of 80s commercials. Maybe Umao could do something similar at some point. I uh, I saw that. Actually, I think on two different occasions she's done it. And maybe I think maybe on both occasions we ended up raiding her while she was doing it. Um, it's a neat it's a neat concept. That, that might be something that we try and do at some point. I don't know how, how many good memories I would have of 80s commercials. We'd yeah. have to do 90s. Um, Reese is, you know, older than me, so she would remember stuff from the 80s. But I'd probably do a fairly good job about the 90s. You know, hit me up with those Kool-Aid Kool commercials. Commercial. And the Steins Gardens in gifts, and then it was doo-doo, 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 and they were bird tweets. It doesn't ring a bell. I think it's a Wisconsin chain. I might be wrong. Reasons the Chocolate Chew. Oh, man, I remember those. And there was Werther's commercials, too. Mm -hmm. God. Yeah, it would just, it would be, it would be fun. That'd be fun at some point. So. 
Barbarian says, no offense, but Luca looks as young as you, so... I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong at all. Um, I remember, uh, for the longest time, I, I didn't, I did not know, uh, how old Reese was. And when I, when I found out, I was like, get out. <laughs> you're, you're lying. She's so pretty. Like she, she, I don't know how, how what I'm allowed to say. <laughs> I'm, like, you're like, she's so pretty. I was, I was about to be like, she is. And that was like, just like nod and agree with your wife. <laughs> For your sake, and then also in case John sees this. <laughs> Fossick says, in before John shows up. John just went to bed. I saw a tweet from him like three hours ago. Really? Oh, of course he did. Of course. Uh, we got 580 bits from Air Dust 3K. Uh, no message, but I appreciate the bits. Thank you. Coffee. <laughs> Coffee. And then 300 bits from uh, Shy says, Geico commercials were my favorite for a while. How could they not when they brought us such wonders as Mike and the Hump Day Camel? Geico's good. Mm -hmm. um, Geico had a lot of really good ones. And then also, I don't know why your comment made me think of this, but I associated this with Geico, but who who remembers head on, apply directly to the forehead. Head on, apply directly to the forehead. Head on, yes. apply directly to the forehead. Now available at CVS and Walgreens. I remember, like, that was the first time I've ever seen a commercial utilize the idea of a repetitive nature mm -hmm. to the point where you thought it was broken. You know, you're like, why did they run this three times? And that was just, that was their strategy. It's like, here's here's this thing, and we're just going to play the short clip three times to the point where the person watching at home thinks they've gone mad, and that's their strategy for making you remember it. Anyway, all right. Uh, we should probably we should probably wrap it up because it's it's ten twelve. Um, Kepler a, has now gone to bed. I see that. Cat nap time. Uh, as a reminder, uh, later today <clears throat> we'll be doing. Uh, I say we'll. I'll. You. I me. We'll I'm be busy. doing a uh, first twenty stream. Uh, games that are going to be looked at uh, for sure include Tokyo Mirage Sessions uh, for the Switch, courtesy of Nintendo. Um, there's a game that just came out called uh, Not For Broadcast, which looks really interesting, where you're kind of running like a uh, like a future dystopian TV show. It's very, it's like darkly humorous, and you're, uh, you get to choose the, um, like the camera angles. So it's like, it's like running a switchboard in a TV station, and like you have to censor things correctly and, and things like that. So it seems really interesting. So those, those two I think are definitely happening. I've got another one that I'm pretty sure, and then um, I want to do audience's choice for also. For the third one? Mm -hmm. uh, for the fourth one. Four. Oh, four. Yeah, and then if we have time, we'll do, if we have time, we'll do more. I to you, sorry. Um, I we'll have see. Kepler being sweet. Don't forget to change the alerts. I'm gonna try. From the, from the time that I'm reading this to the time that I do it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to make sure I do that. Uh, so that's l just, you know, later, um, hopefully before evening. Is my goal. If I can start in the early afternoon, that's what I'll aim for. And then, um, what's the other things? Mouse painting. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, no other things to really announce. No. Uh, hopefully a vlog today. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I've been balancing a lot of other things, and soon we'll get to the point where they're just dumping out for a day again. Um, that's why I'm not real concerned because oh. I know soon they'll be they'll be coming out quickly, but um, I think it's it. Oh, and today is the last day of the extra life vods, including the and that was whenever I was singing and dancing. So it's probably well worth your time. It's uh, <laughs> interesting. It's interesting. And uh, final alert here: we got 300 bits from Jesse who says, "What are the chances that in the future y'all will do a joint first 20 stream?" Um, the only way it would occur is if we did it from here, because yeah. there, obviously we can't do it at my desk. Yeah. It's too hard to set up. Um, it's not likely that we would do an entire First 20 stream together. More likely, and I had mentioned this somewhere, but I don't remember where. More likely is that we would append it to the end of a Friday night stream. So we were doing a Friday stream, the game ends early, and we do a... Um, 
like a first 20 with us, and we do it then. So it's not impossible that we would, you know, we would do something together for first 20. Um, it's just unlikely that there would ever be like a, a first 20 joint stream. Most of them are gonna be just me. And the other thing is that we could also just do something off that's not live. Yeah. Um, you know. So whenever the, when, when the need arises again, when there's like some co-op games, I'm like, we should play these. Yeah. Then. Um, something. Yeah. I mean, in the event that we had a few, like if we had a few first 20s that were all that way, yeah. then yeah, we probably would just do them here and just do an entire stream. It's mm -hmm. just, it seems unlikely to get that many at once, um, at least usually. Anyway, all right, that's it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, stay tuned to Twitter and I'll post later on about doing a- First 20 stream. First 20 stream. Mm -hmm. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. We will see you later t this evening, afternoon, something for, uh, for not breakfast stream. I don't have like an official name. I guess just, I, we call them first 20 streams. So, you know, first 20 stream.